Short wavelength visible light passes through the greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, in our atmosphere. The light is absorbed by things on Earth and then re-radiated out as long wave infrared light, which cannot pass through the greenhouse gases. Without the greenhouse effect, the Earth would basically freeze over every night, so it's not all bad. However, through burning fossil fuels, there is a vast surplus of greenhouse gases, specifically CO2, in the atmosphere, trapping too much heat. The ACE presentation was a big inspiration for us because we based our whole project around the idea of doing one thing, and it was very informative because I, for one, didn't know I took up 21 football fields to s just sustain the way I live. For our project, we ran a booth at the Hunterdon County Park System's Earth Day celebration. We greeted visitors to our booth and requested that they pledge to do one of the following. Composting. Planting a tree. Eating local. Unplug. Get a reusable water bottle. We interviewed several people to see how much they really knew about their impact on the earth. How much land do you think it takes to sustain your lifestyle? That includes land to grow the food that you eat, to get the materials for your stuff, and to dispose of your garbage. I don't know. Did you know that for the average American, it actually amounts to 21 football fields? Whoa. No, I didn't. Um, maybe like 55, 60 acres? 1,000 acres. The average American uses 21 football fields of space to sustain their lifestyle. So what is that in acres? <laughs> I'm, I'm really not sure how many acres, but I think I'm probably on the good side of it, only because um, we reuse a lot of things. My kids wear a lot of hand-me-downs. Uh, we try to grow like, some of our own food. Uh, we keep chickens and we compost everything so we don't have a very big garbage output. Um, we try to limit our, our trips. I, I don't know, that's a hard question. Well, I, would, I wouldn't say that I know, but I would probably think that maybe three or four acres could be enough. Um, I mean, I know you can do a pretty decent sized garden and then having, you don't need too much space for animals. So I would, that's what I would say. The average American actually takes up 21 football fields. This is saying, yeah. Wow. Um, I don't really know. That's probably a big number. The average American actually uses 21 football fields. This is saying, wow. That's, that's, that's a lot. I think about two acres per person. The average American actually uses 21 football fields. Wow. How do you think that you can reduce your impact on the earth? Um, I'm actually planning on using a reusable water bottle that I just got. And um, hopefully I'll use it a lot more than I will normal water bottles. Turn off the lights more often when I leave the room. Make sure the computer is turned off when I go to sleep. Spend less time in the shower. I usually shower about an hour at a time, so I should probably change that. <laughs> I think we can probably all do more repurposing things, um, recycling things, reusing things in a different way that maybe they weren't intended to be used. Well, recycling, of course, everybody says recycling. Um, I think maybe if I was oh, less wasteful, I think a lot of times, uh, definitely in this country, I think people waste. Well, I guess we can try to recycle more. You know, a lot of people throw away their bottles, and I guess we can try to start compost piles. I guess, and you know, try walking places instead, using cars. I think try and use less paper. I think that that would be a big thing. Uh, try and use our vehicles less. That would be good. What do you think is your biggest source of carbon output? Electricity. I like using the computer. Cars. I drive a lot of places. I don't drive. I get driven a lot of places, so definitely cars. Uh, I know it used to be airline travel when we traveled more frequently out of the country and we were going abroad, but 
since we haven't been doing that, I think it's probably, you know, it's hard to say because I have a Prius and I try to combine my trips, but it's probably my car. I probably would say cars because we drive a lot. That would, yeah, I'd say cars. Biggest carbon output? I think lawn, lawn mowing equipment because there's no pollution control on them. I think they're actually worse than cars. At the end of Earth Day, we had 69 pledges. Two weeks after Earth Day, we emailed everyone who had pledged to see if they had followed through. We got confirmation from 25%. As part of our project, we created a 4-H club and decided that we'd run a booth at Earth Day every year. Making small changes in your lifestyle may not seem like much, but they add up, like drops in a bucket, reducing your impact on the Earth.